Now we will discuss trimetal bearings. This slide presents a magnified cross-section of a typical a trimetal bearing. Uh, besides of the supporting steel back, the structure has an intermediate layer made of a copper alloy containing about 20-25% of lead, which is a solid lubricant, and 2-5% of tin as a strengthening additive. The third layer is a, a lead-based overlay or babit, you see it here, applied over the intermediate layer. The lead-based alloy contains about 10% of tin, enhancing its corrosion resistance, and few percents of copper increasing the overlay strength. Thickness of the overlay is only 5 to 8 ten thousandths of inch. It is a low. The low overlay thickness of trimetal bearings limits anti-friction properties like seizure resistance, conformability and embeddability. When the thin overlay is removed even partially, the anti-friction properties drop dramatically. You may ask why not to increase the overlay thickness. Unfortunately, the load capacity of soft overlay is strongly dependent on its thickness. The thinner the, the, thinner the overlay, the greater its load capacity. So the overlay thickness is a compromise between the strength and anti-friction properties. Uh, between the intermediate layer and the uh, uh, overlay, there is a thin uh, nickel layer. Nickel serves as a barrier preventing the diffusion of tin from the overlay into the intermediate layer. Thickness of nickel barrier is very low, it's about 40 to 80 millionth of inch. Trimetal bearings are characterized by very good fatigue strengths due to the both strong intermediate layer and hardening effect of the copper in the relatively thin overlay, excellent seizure resistance provided by the lead-based overlay. Unfortunately, seizure resistance drops sharply when the overlay is removed in direct metal-to-metal -metal contact. Excellent embeddability of small dirt particles. Excellent conformability for small misalignments. As you see, trimetal material operates very good all time that the overlay exists. However, the overlay is thin and may be easily removed from the surface during a direct friction between the bearing and the, and the, and the crankshaft surface. Even a partial exposure of the intermediate layer will cause dramatic lowering of the bearing properties. Trimetal bearings are more sensitive to misalignments and distortions than uh, bimetal bearings. On this slide you can see the main grades of kink uh, trimetal bearings and their designations. <coughs> CP is the softest trimetal material for the passenger cars with the medium load gasoline engines. SX uh, these are the bearings having a higher load uh, capacity due to the both stronger intermediate alloy and harder and thinner babit overlay as compared to CP. The overlay of SX contains 5% of copper instead of 3% of copper and CP material and the, its thickness is decreased from 7 to 5 10 thousandths of inch. Applications of SX, SX bearings are the passenger cars with medium to high load engines. The last material is XP. It is developed for high load, high performance engines. Our XP bearings are easily recognized due to their distinctive uh, deep dark color produced by the proprietary surface uh, hardening treatment. You can see them uh, in this picture. The hardened uh, surface provides significant increase, which is about 17% of load carrying capacity of HP bearings. This slide demonstrates the difference in behaviors of bimetal and trimetal bearings under the mixed lubrication conditions. 
mixed lubrication regime is uh, characterized by intermittent metal-to-metal -metal contacts between the rubbing surfaces. In real engines, mixed lubrication occurs at high loads, low rotation speeds, insufficient oil, oil, oil supply, a rough uh, surface of the journal, uh, and then geometric uh, irregularities. The test was performed in uh, our test trick, which simulates conditions of real engines. The bearings were tested under a controlled cycling load. The bearing back temperature was continuously monitored. Seizure between the bearing and the, and the journal was detected according to a sharp temperature rise. The tested bearing worked with insufficient oil supply, artificially insufficient oil supply, which was achieved by the disconnection of, of the oil from the tested bearing. The blue, the blue curve refers to the trimetal bearings and the red one to the bimetal bearings. You can see that for the first few minutes after the uh, oil disconnection, the trimetal bearing temperature was rising at low uh, rate due to the effect of soft overlay. However, the overlay wore out fast and the temperature increased sharply because of the direct contact between the shaft surface and the exposed uh, 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 exposed surface of the intermediate layer. Then the temperature stabilized at the level of about 180 Fahrenheit with a few peaks indicating pre-seizure uh, conditions of the materials. But the next increase of load caused actual seizure. You see the very sharp increase of the temperature. The behavior of uh, the bimetal aluminum silicon bearings was quite different. At the initial load, the bearing temperature stabilized at 160 Fahrenheit, and after each load increase, the temperature rose only by 5 to 10 Fahrenheit, and then stabilized. Seizure didn't occur even at the high load of 13,000 psi. The test has demonstrated greater margin of confidence and protection of bimetal bearings compared to trimetal bearings under mixed lubrication conditions. A King Engine bearings has developed a high strength trimetal material. The, the, the bearing which we call the GP or gold performance has trimetal structure like a conventional trimetal bearing but uh, the overlay is different. It is a proprietary overlay composed of two materials. Neither is lead. One of them, the base, is hard but has a good seizure resistance. The second component is a solid lubricant. The intermediate layer of, of GP bearings may be made by, of either leaded or lead-free copper alloy. Excellent adherence of the overlay to the intermediate layer is provided by a proprietary bonding layer. GP bearings has an extremely high load carrying capacity of about 17,400 psi. It is twice as high as conventional trimetal bearing. GP material has good anti-friction properties due to the combined action of the proprietary overlay components. And GP bearings have a higher maximum work temperature, which is over 500 Fahrenheit, compared with conventional trimetal bearings with 350 Fahrenheit. GP is a superior material for highly loaded connecting rod bearings. Its applications are as follows. Highly loaded racing agents. GP bearings have been successfully tested in one of Ron Shaver's outlaw spring car engines under extreme service conditions. The torque over 500 foot-pounds. And uh, in addition to this, in order to increase the specific load applied to the bearing, the bearing surface was reduced to two-thirds of, of, of the original. 
GP bearings are now running in several high load engines. The next application of GP bearings is turbocharged and supercharged gasoline engines. And the last group of application is uh, diesel direct and the indirect injection engines, which have a very high combustion pressure. This table summarizes the properties of various bearing materials which we have discussed. You can see that the strengths and the soft properties may be compromised in various proportions. You can also pay attention that uh, excellent soft anti-friction properties of trimetal materials CP, SX and XP are limited by the overly thickness. They have excellent embeddability and conformability but for particles and uh, e e geometric uh, irregularities with dimensions below to five uh, ten uh, thousandths of inch. Soft anti-friction properties of bimetal bearings AM and SI are lower but they are not limited by an overly thickness because they don't have over for bimetal materials are capable to accommodate greater misalignments and embed larger particles. On the other hand, the load capacity of bimetal bearings is lower. It is about 58 to 80 hundred psi. It is lower than that of trimetal mat materials with bubbit overlays with a load capacity between 87 to 10,200 psi. In GP bearings, extremely very high load carrying capacity, 17,400 psi, and excellent wear resistance are combined with moderate and even poor conformability and embeddability. All our, our data reg regarding the load capacity of different materials was obtained in our test rig under similar test conditions. By the way, I, I would like to warn you about a comparison of uh, load carrying capacities of different materials in different test tricks. There is no standard method of bearing fatigue test. Bearing manufacturers are use different equipment and different test conditions and they produce different results for the same material. Therefore only the results obtained under the same conditions and in the same test machine may be compared. This slide presents a comparison of different kink performance bearings. We have HP, which is aluminum silicon bimetal material for medium load engines, particularly with the nodular cast iron crankshafts. XP, trimetal with bobbit overlay, hardened by our proprietary process. You remember this uh, uh, dark, dark bearings. Uh, this material is designed for medium to high load engines. NGP, proprietary very high strength trimetal used in high load engines. Uh, 